Okay, now we've got our sprites, and what we're going to do is program each one of them so that when the game starts, the sprite goes to the correct place on the screen. So, we've got to think about where we want each of these sprites to start. The ball, I want to start in the middle. The floor, I want to start right at the bottom. And the bat, I want to start just above it which means we need to be able to program the coordinates x and y for each of these sprites. Now, imagine a cross going through the screen. In fact, if I go to stage, can I have a backdrop? If I go upload backdrop from file, no sorry, if I go to I'm just wondering if it gives us our XY grid. There we go. So if I open that XY grid, you will see that the X axis goes across left to right, with what with zero on X being in the middle, and the Y axis goes up and down, with zero on Y being in the middle. So the very centre of the screen, the coordinates are zero, zero. So what we're going to do in this video is basically we're going to do it in one of three ways. This will be a bit different from other videos you've looked at before from me. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you a Word document with what we call the pseudocode written on there. This is your first level of challenge. The Word document has basically the code written on, but written halfway between plain English and computer code. If you can figure out what how to program in Scratch from looking at the pseudocode, you should pause the video there do your code and then move on to the next one. However, if you're still a bit stuck, you can keep playing the video and move on to the next stage where it will show you the blocks that you need but not joined up. You should pause the video there, get the blocks that you need and try and join them up in the right order and test that it works. If you're still stuck again, you can press play again and you'll get a tutorial which shows you how to arrange the blocks. So, the first step is a bit is the most difficult going through to the final step where if you need it you'll get the help that shows you how to arrange the blocks so let's do it for programming this ball to start in the middle of the screen so I'm going to select my ball, I'm going to select scripts and here is the pseudo code when green flag clicked go to x0 y0 if you think you can have a go at that on scratch without moving on any further in the video then pause this video now and go and have a go. Okay, if you've carried on pressing if you've carried on watching or you're pressing play for a bit more help, the blocks that you need are events when green flag clicked and motion go to. And you can change the X and Y coordinates. likes. You can change the X and Y coordinates by clicking in there and typing over them. Have a go yourself at trying to arrange them. I don't think this one's going to be particularly difficult. If you're still watching then all you have to do for your ball is put those two together and change that to X 0 Y 0. Now if I move the ball over here and I click the green flag, you'll notice that the ball will go back to the exact centre of the screen. Have a go programming that for the paddle and for the floor as well.